Hi friends, today I'm going to read a book to you that I really love. The title of this book is Say Cheese. It is about a boy and his big sister going to the zoo and she likes to take pictures. There's also a fun surprise at the end of the book. What, but what I love most about this book are the drawings of all the animals. I could just look at them all day. Now, think about what I just said. What types of things did I talk about? Why do you think I spoke to you about the book before I read it? What I just did is that I just gave a book talk and I have a little picture to show you to help you understand what I'm talking about. A book talk. Ooh, here we go. So you may be wondering, what are book talks? So here we go. Book talks. Now there are five important things to remember when giving a book talk. Number one. A book talk is a short talk about a book. I think that I gave a pretty short talk about the book before I even read it. Number two, try to make readers excited about the book. Did my talk before the book make you excited to hear about it? I hope so. Number three, it is important to say the title, the characters, and the place. So I said that the title of this book is Say Cheese. I did that. I said that the characters of the book are a boy and his sister. So I did that. And I said that this book takes place at the zoo, that the boy and his sister are going to the zoo. So I did that. I said the title, the characters, and the place. The fourth important thing to do when doing a book talk is to say the important things that happen. I did say that the sister loves to take pictures while she was at the zoo. And I also said that there is a fun surprise that happens at the end. And then number five, tell why you like the story. I said that my favorite part of the book are all of the drawings of the animals and that I could just look at them all day long. So I definitely said why I like the story. So we'll come back to this picture at the end, but just keep those five things in mind when thinking about what a book talk is. All right, are you ready to read this book? Let's begin. Say Cheese by Harriet Zeifert, illustrated by Sanford Hoffman. Can you remind me what the cover of a book means when it says that it is by someone. When a book says that it is by someone, that means that that person wrote it. They are the author. And down here, we see a second name. It says It says, illustrated by Sanford Hoffman. Can you remind me what it means when the cover of a book says that it is illustrated by someone? This means that this person drew the pictures of the book. And since there are two different names, we know that one person wrote the book and a different person drew the pictures. All right, let's continue. We're going to the zoo. Here is the boy and here is his sister. And she's holding a camera because she loves to take pictures. I see that the name of the zoo is Game Farm. Have you ever been to the zoo? What's your favorite part of the zoo? I love going to the zoo because I get to see animals that I wouldn't get to see in my everyday life. I couldn't see just an elephant walking by my window or a giraffe. My sister takes pictures of pigs. 
Hey, can we count how many pigs there are together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven pigs. Three, four, five, six, seven. Just wanted to check. And here we can see the sister taking pictures of the pigs. And here's the boy standing next to his sister. Then my sister wants to take pictures of parrots, but I want to see zebras. Oh, the boy doesn't look so happy here. Sister says, be good, behave yourself. We'll see the zebras. And here she is looking at her pictures through her camera. The boy looks a little sad. I wonder what's going to happen. She takes pictures of parrots. They flap their wings but don't talk. Let's count how many parrots there are together. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six parrots. Then my sister takes pictures of zebras. The boy still doesn't look happy though and he wanted to see the zebras. I wonder what's wrong. Let's count how many zebras there are together. One, two, three, four. There are four zebras. Let's see what happens next. I'm tired of watching my sister take pictures. <gasps> I run away as fast as a zebra. Oh no, what do you think is going to happen next? Let's see. Where are you going, she yells. To the monkeys, catch me if you can. Oh boy, I wonder if his sister is going to be able to catch him. Well, my sister catches me. I'm taking you home, she says. No, no, I'll be good. Take pictures of me, please. I'll even say cheese. Let's count how many monkeys there are in the background. One, two, three, four. There are four monkeys in this picture. I wonder if they're going to stay at the zoo or if they're going to go home. What do you think? Let's see. Okay, okay, I'll take pictures of you. Smile. And here he is with all of his different poses for the camera. Say cheese. You look even better upside down. That's pretty funny. Can you do a handstand? I can't do a handstand. Do you want to see our pictures? Here they are. Can you find me? Can you find the boy? Point to the boy if you can find him. Here he is. And here he is with a monkey. Here are the pictures of the pigs. Here are the pictures of the zebras. Here are the pictures of the monkeys. And here's a picture of a parrot. I'm saying cheese. And look at him smiling. Oh, and after a long day at the zoo, the boy and his sister, they're going home. Here's a sign that says exit. When you see a sign that says exit, that means that that's an, a a door or a way for you to leave a place. The end. So what did you think of this book? Did you like it? What was your favorite part of the book? I definitely love looking at all of the pictures of the animal at all of the drawings of the animals.
Which animal was your favorite? My favorite animal. My favorite drawing of the anim of an animal is definitely the zebras. They look so cool. All right, so before we finish, I just have a quick question. I'll pull up that picture again, but can you remind me why it could be helpful to do a book talk before reading a book? Let's read over the chart together one last time. Book talks. A book talk is a short talk about a book. Number two, try to make readers excited about the book. Number three, say the title, characters, and place. Number four, say the important things that happen. And number five, tell why you liked the story. So I would love if Maybe if you could come to office hours and tell me a book talk about a book that you think that I should read. It could be one of your favorite books or a book that you kind of like. Any book. I love to read and I would love if you told me a book that you think that I should read. Alright guys, it was so much fun reading this story together today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.